everybody welcome back once again my name is will this is minecraft uh just upload oh my god we are getting raided what in the hell or not raided or the patrols or whatever i've never actually seen one of these that's actually really cool well i was gonna do today's episode is basically gonna be building that uh which i did a little bit of prep work but as i was starting up my recording software apparently we're gonna get raided um, so we're going to see how this goes. Okay, let's get a shot with the crossbow here. Ow, like that. Ow. Ow, I should probably go back in the house before I die. Like that. Okay, well, fantastic. Alright. Try this again. I should probably make some armor. That'd be really smart. Oh yeah, I also screwed up um, when I was recording earlier, and uh, I made a lot of iron swords on accident. <laughs> Let's go round two, boys. Okay, I think we got them all. Oh, there's another one over there. Um, this is another mod I have. Uh, it just makes all my stuff go into a tombstone so it doesn't fly into lava. Uh, I think I need a pickaxe to get it, though. So we're going to kill this last guy. I think this should be the last guy. That's actually really cool. Kind of sucks. It's lost a ton of experience, but yeah. They also don't drop anything, apparently. Uh, but yeah, I think that's one of those. Uh, it's part of the village and pillage updates. Um, oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of my favorite mods is that. And it also tells me where I died. Um, and then to get rid of that, I just gotta go into here, delete, and then it's gone. Uh, a couple other things, so, um, I have bamboo now, as you can see here. Uh, what we're gonna be doing is making a zero mob XP farm. Um, just kind of was screwing around on YouTube, found a guy that did it. Um, it looks really cool, we're gonna give it a try. Mine's not gonna be nearly as pretty as his, but I wanna see if it works. Um, to get this bamboo, I had to go all the way over there and then walk all the way back. So 1,400 meters, that's a desert temple. But right next to that desert is a jungle, which is where I found this bamboo. Um, as I was digging, tunneling under the, uh, under the base here, my little mine shaft over here. Um, this is actually, or yeah, in my mine shaft. I found a mine shaft. So that's what that is down there. If you go all the way down there. Uh, also had to go to the nether to get some quartz so we can make our observers. We are going to need a lot more sand to make more glass for this, but we're going to try to get this guy operational to start off here and then uh, we'll go from there. So you put the pistons like this on the bottom here is just a minecraft or mine minecraft. It's a minecart with a hopper on it uh, with some powered rails to keep it going back and forth here. Um, we're going to place the bamboo on this right here. This is just the obituary, so if you look at it, it'll tell me where I died, how dumb I am, stuff like that. What I had on me when I died. Don't need them. They're junk. Get rid of it. It's just part of the mod. And then we place bamboo on this right here. And then we need to go, we put glass here on the front side. And that's just going to keep it, uh, when the, when these pistons break the bamboo here, that is going to keep all the bamboo inside of the, the, uh, the contraption here so we don't lose anything. So it's a lossless contraption. But I believe I'm going to need a lot more glass because these guys can grow up to like 16 blocks tall or something stupid. Don't necessarily need to go that high, actually. I mean, um... So the way the observer works is once it observes a block in front of it, i.e. this bamboo, it's going to send a redstone signal down to the bottom here, which is going to fire off all the pistons, which is going to break the pistons, or it's going to break the bamboo rather, and then the minecart underneath is going to grab all the bamboo, ow, throw it into these hoppers here, which is going to go into this furnace, which is going to go into this chest. And how the actual XP contraption works is we're going to use the bamboo for an unlimited fuel source. Um, so you can put the bamboo in the bottom here. That's going to use it as a fuel source. You can pop the block in the top there. 
um, and it's going to burn that. And as you can see, it doesn't use a, it doesn't create a lot of heat, so it's not super useful for fuel. Uh, but when you have an unlimited supply, we're going to also make a cactus farm over here and run that into the other side. So we're going to be using the bamboo to uh, smelt the cactus into green dye, which will then drop it down into here. Um, and if you do this for long enough, it generates quite a large amount of experience. So you'll be able to go in here, uh, bring the green dye into your inventory, and that's going to collect um, hopefully a ton of uh, a ton of experience for us. So let's go up a little bit here. We're going to kind of tower up, and then we're going to put the observers with the faces on the front side here. Uh, I've got to figure out how to place them in the correct direction. I think you have to place them backwards. Or maybe... Okay, so we got to place it like that. Yep, and now the face should be facing forward. So the face is the side that it observes. Which is fine because... God, I wish I could click in the right spot here. Um, we'll run another block across the back side like this because we're going to have to run redstone. And I'm not going to put an observer on every block. I'm going to do like every other block just to save observers. Um, you can put it on every block. It'll be a lot more efficient if you put it on every block. Um, but as soon as one of these um, bamboo hits any one of these faces, it's going to send that redstone signal. Are you kidding me? I didn't bring my redstone with me. Uh, see if we can jump without dying. That's a negative. I tried to plan a little bit. I didn't plan well enough. I don't think you can hit that water. Ooh, I can't hit the water. Okay, beautiful. Alright, so as you can see, you can kind of see how this thing's going to work. The bamboo's growing straight up there. Once it hits any one of those faces, it's going to send that redstone pulse, and we're going to uh, kind of tower it down. We'll use a couple of observers to do that as well. Um, and we'll run blocks all the way across the back. Uh, like so. And you can do this and make it look a lot more prettier, but I'm still pretty early off in this... Uh, in this world here. I don't have a whole lot of pretty blocks, nor do I want to use the resources to make pretty blocks. We're going to go to sleep here real quick just to get rid of the mobs. The last thing I need is a creeper coming up on me and blowing up my whole contraption. Alright, oh well, you guys can also see that I have baked potatoes on me. Um, I did go ahead and duplicate my farm over here. Um, we'll be making this automatic today as well. Uh, we'll get some, uh, let me see, there's my potato farm, and we'll get some dispensers, uh, three or four across the top here, on both of these, hook it up to a switch, um, or a button or something, and then it'll push everything towards us. Uh, we could even, um, actually run this one the other direction, and then we could just stand in the middle, or we could even just, uh, grab a hopper system. I'll probably just... Uh, leave it manual for now just because with this it can't be truly automatic just because you have to sit there and replant all the stuff uh, With these guys though these we can make fully automatic uh, We can do a similar system with the observers and the pistons You just put a piston on the bottom level, you know put a piston here and an observer here that way when the observer uh, Sees that it you know hit the top level here You can have a row of pistons all the way across and then that can go into a hopper and a chest system um and we're going to need a lot of sugar cane. We need a lot of books to make uh, bookcases so we can get our enchanting table and stuff like that. Are you kidding me? Really? I don't have any shield either. Ow. Ow. Okay, there we go. He's dead. Fantastic. Okay, so on the back side here, we will just make... Um, I guess we'll just make a staircase up to the top here. That's going to be the easiest way, I think. There we go. Okay. Yeah, so we'll rip this up. We'll put, uh, put this in the right spot up top here. Alright, 
right, boys. We got to figure it out here. Got the observers up the side. And we just ended up going observers down the side as well. You put the little redstone on top of it there. And then just to verify that it works, you can pick any one of these. Doesn't matter. As soon as a bamboo stalk grows up to this level, fires, and then the pistons shoot. Just like that. And then, you know, it observed me breaking the block as well, so it shot him again. Beautiful. All right. So now that that is functional, we just need to block up the side. All the bamboo's already in there. So that's beautiful. And we're going to go right up the side here. And then, like I said, once once we get more glass, I'll fill in the front side here. But I'll back side. Fill all this in. And then as you can see, the hopper will go by and suck the bamboo through the ground. And there it went. Picked it up. Just like that. And that is it for the bamboo portion of this. I'm going to need a lot more glass and a lot more cobblestone to finish this. And that's it for the bamboo farm. So the bamboo farm is automatic. Um, next thing we are going to make, I'm going to go get some more materials really quick. Because I basically used all my cobble and all my glass. So I'm going to get all that. I did, uh, while we were in that desert over there, I did get the cactus. So I already have cactus here. Um, but we do need sand to put the cactus on, which I believe I am out. I've got blocks. Can you turn blocks back into sand? No, you cannot. Okay. Um, so I will be back again. I've got to go find a ton of sand full of glass and to place the cactus on. So I will be right back in a few minutes. All right, boys. As you can see, the, uh, the bamboo farm here is about to go off. Just need one or two more. Uh, to get some glass. So we're going to pop that glass in there. So when it does pop, uh... It does the same other bamboo flying over the edge there. We want it to stay in the collection unit. Um, just slept. Oh, of course, there's going to be a million skeletons now. I need to get really get rid of these water sources so they can't just jump in here and continue to shoot me in the face. That'd be very ideal. Um, this right here is going to be the cactus portion of it. Um, and I figured out why the, uh, the hopper wasn't pulling. You can see now there's bamboo in here. Uh, shouldn't be anything in that, but uh, now it's actually pulling it into the furnace and then it pulls it out of the furnace and puts it in the chest. Uh, I screwed up and put the, the lever on the wrong block. The lever, the lever is supposed to go up at the top block, not the bottom block. If you put the lever up there, it'll lock this hopper and then this hopper won't do anything. And that is an issue. Uh, so let's go back up top here and I'll kind of show you what I'm doing up here. Um, let's use cobblestone, I guess. Um, I started deleting this, and then I realized that I still need it. Um, this is just going to be the uh, cactus farm up here. Um, we'll make the cactus kind of floating, so I'll give you an example of what that looks like. So we want to do this, and then put a sand block on it, and then we're going to put the cactus on it gonna kick us in the head and then get rid of that block at the bottom so the water still flows and then as you can kind of see what just happened um, when the cactus grows we're gonna put a block next to it it's gonna fly down into the canal go all the way down and then that's a hopper right there that hopper gets sucked into that chest which gets sucked into the furnace and that's gonna be what we're actually cooking to get the experience um, so I'm going to work on this for a few minutes. God, I did not want to do that. So give me a few seconds, and I will get this uh, get this done here. Okay, boys. All the cactus are now up there. We're gonna surround this in glass just to make it not look like complete garbage. So uh, let me do that really quick, and I'm hoping we have enough glass, which I think we should. But. I'm gonna put a door there just so I have access to this up stop, and then I'll get, I'm gonna get rid of this staircase. I'll put probably a ladder there just to make it look a little cleaner. But and then what we're gonna want to do next is I'm actually gonna make some glass panes, 
and the reason for that is we're going to use the glass panes. The glass panes are actually what is going to break the cactus. Um, it looks super clean. You can use any block really, it doesn't really matter what block you use, just something that, so when the cactus grows it gets pushed off automatically. That's kind of what we're going to use to harvest it without using pistons or anything else. So once all this glass is up here, we will run back to the house and make some glass panes and we'll get those placed. So I will be right back. Okay, so we got our glass panes here and what we're going to want to do, I just made a little tower up here. I also put some torches just so I don't get anything spawning up here. It would probably die just from hitting the cactus and whatever, but um, in between every one of these blocks, we're going to want to put the glass pane so and then now so you see how this one grew this one if we put this block here you can see it popped that guy off uh, oops now that one didn't pop off I might actually have to do it might not work in diagonals it might only work if it's next to it which I think that's actually right so Okay, there we go. So I think we have them all here. So if these two grow, that'll pop it. Those two grow, pop, etc. Those two, those two. And then we got it kind of doubled up a little bit here. So this one will affect that one and that one. This will affect that one and that one. And then on the side here, just to save glass, we went here, here, and here. So those, no matter where this thing grows. Okay, I just can't plop them. But yeah, when, whenever they grow, they, they'll, they'll pop off. So we're going to go destroy our little dirt tower over here now. This should be enough. I want to put a door here just so I can have access to this just in case if I ever want to expand it or whatever. And then that should resolve the water. Yep, that should put the water back. Okay, beautiful. Uh, let's just check the water canal make sure everything is okay with that. And then, yeah, so, you know, you kick your cactus in here and it goes down the, the canal here. And, oh, yep, that's why I wanted to check it, make sure the bucket's working. Goes into the hopper, the hopper, uh, the chest below it pulls out of that. And there's another hopper attached to that, which should pull into here, pull the dirt out, pull the cobblestone out. And then now uh, you can see it's using the bamboo to um, cook the cactus. Once that's cooked, it'll pull it into here. Green dye, there it is, and then you see it go into here. Um, that cooking process of cooking those things um, is actually what gives us the experience. Um, you just need to make sure when you're trying to pull the experience out um, that you lock the hopper. So by doing that you want to flip that. That should lock the hopper. So you see I put this with the torch. That torch should lock this hopper which means this hopper isn't going to pull any more dye out of here which you can see that's still sitting in there. Um, regardless of how much dye is in here, you will get the experience for every dye that is created. So for example, if I fill this double chest full of dye, um, I only need to pull one dye out of here and this will give me the experience for all of it. Uh, okay, hope that makes sense. Um, we're going to turn it back on for now. And there it goes, it pulled it out and you can see we have, now have six dye in there. Um, I don't really know what to do with all this extra excess bamboo. I guess I can just throw it, we'll throw it back in the hopper here, and that way as it fills up it should uh, keep the, the furnace full here. I mean, once this furnace starts going, and uh, once the cactus starts growing, it's going to eat through the bamboo pretty quick. Uh, I made the, uh, the cactus a little bit smaller. And then there you go, now you can see that it won't pull anymore. Uh, if you want to just make sure you can always spread the green dye out, but it should it should just keep it in there and it shouldn't pull it unless it ends up in this spot. And then you can see that go. Uh, the only issue with this is that if this is growing too slow or too fast, you could overflow your hoppers um, based on how fast you're burning it, based on how fast the cactus is. So you might have to either adjust um, how quick you want this breaking. So for example, you could make these um, observers, put them a little lower, that way as soon as it hits, I don't know, three or four blocks, it punches all of them. Um, but as you can see, this this uh, one up there is only one block away, but there's not an observer in front of it, so that's not going to trigger the piston. So it could be a while until this actually goes. So you could run out of 
um, bamboo if I didn't have a bunch stored up or you can run out of cactus so for example right now I have no cactus because I just you know it's, it's still trying to get going there um, the other thing we can consider doing is putting glowstone in here I believe bamboo needs a uh, light level of like nine to grow um, so if you punch out a couple of these blocks on the back side here put glowstone that would ensure that they grow um, kind of at all times um, other than that, I need to find a saddle so I can get some horses. Uh, I mean, I guess I could paint it or whatever. Um, in the meantime, but you still couldn't ride it. Um, so I'm going to put the glass back up top here. Um, I'm going to make a little dirt tower just to get up there, and then I'll get rid of it at the end here. But other than that, that is going to be the XP farm. Um, I'll show you guys in a little bit once this thing's been running for, a, you know, a little, a little bit. Um, what kind of XP we're talking about, but, uh, once that, uh, the chest up top starts, uh, really kicking, um, it's, it's supposed to be a full 30 levels, um, per small chest of cactus here, so, that's what the, uh, the guide says. Um, I did forget to mention the, the guy that actually designed this, I believe, he, he claims ownership for it is Avromance. YouTube Minecrafter, check out his uh, actual guide for this if you'd like. He goes kind of a lot more in depth. I just wanted to get this kind of in my build, not necessarily a guide, but I want to show you guys kind of what I'm doing as well. So uh, we're gonna go one more level high here, and then yep. So you can see this guy is actually oop, oh, oh, gonna almost died. Um, that guy up there is actually. Uh, above the level of the observer um, and it hasn't triggered yet because none of these other stocks have hit an observer yet so let's go back up top because I fell down like an idiot should probably also eat since I'm that night don't want to get shot by a skeleton and fall down again and then what we'll actually do here break that and I'll make a little glass roof over it the only part that actually needs light I believe is um, the base which is why you put the glowstone down there so you could put a full roof over this if you wished I'm just gonna fill with glass for now and then I'm gonna leave the uh, oops. well that solved that problem I'm gonna leave the uh, Leave the cactus farm open. Uh, I did throw some torches on there. Hopefully that'll keep them growing throughout the night. I'll throw a torch there just to make that symmetrical. Um, but yeah, it looks pretty good. No complaints. Um, we'll, 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 once we get a few, few in there, like I said, we'll, we'll check it and see how it's doing. Um, I guess just to prove it, that it works. Um, Wait till one gets put in here, but Ooh, we got a friend coming. Uh, next thing I want to do is we're gonna get this. Uh, I'll probably do this off camera and just kind of show you guys the results of it. I know this is kind of boring to watch stuff like this, but um, we'll do. The, I want to do an on extra king farm because, like I said, we're gonna need a lot of books here coming up pretty soon. So. I mean, we actually need them now, now that we have an XP farm. We're going to start getting a lot of XP very quickly. I'm also going to be making a mod grinder. Uh, pretty useful. Um, you know, you're going to want the gunpowder and stuff to make fireworks to uh, fly once we get the, uh, the glider and stuff. That's definitely going to be... Where was that little sucker at? There he is. Alright, we're going to go inside and sleep, and I will um, we'll come back once I have some stuff built up inside of there. Okay, see you guys in a little bit. Alright everybody, this is the, um, I wanted to show you guys what I was working on. Um, so that's still going over there, oh my god, we got another raid. It's like every time I start recording again, I get another raid. Um, I'll show you the guys this really quick though before you go kill those guys. So these are our farms that we had, and like I said, I was going to build the dispensers. We got the dispensers put in there. They have water buckets inside them. Uh, push the two farms together. 
Um, so now the water canals go to each other. And then we have the, um, the hopper there. Uh, it goes down into this double chest with the button. And if we hit the button, all the food comes to us. Looks like I need maybe another, probably a couple more hoppers. Or not hoppers, uh, a couple more dispensers on the back side there to fully optimize it. But that's a real easy way to get a lot of, uh, a lot of plants harvested all at once here. That's not too bad for our first run. I'll get some more dispensers made and get those up in there. But then if you check our chest here, you can see that it all flowed to the, or it is flowing. It's all in the hopper currently. Uh, but from one harvest, um, got quite a little bit there, and it's going to slowly dump all those in there. But that's the potatoes and the wheat that we got there. Uh, let's go see if we can kill these guys before they run off. There they are. And then I'll show you, um, it hasn't been too long, it's only been maybe 15-20 minutes. Um, it, it's definitely more optimal if you, um, oh I should have brought my shield, because I forget they all have crossbows. Definitely way more optimal um, if we have more cactus, that's the, 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 the uh, choke point on this I guess is the word I'm looking for. Um, so probably what I'll do is I'll add a couple, you can go vertical with the cactuses as well, so just go vertical, two, three more layers. Um, and that'll help that. Um, I really should have got my shield, man. Oh well. We'll see if we die here. Well, I did make armor now, so I'm a little bit stronger. I can put some more arrows. Do regular iron armor, but anything helps. Especially when you're dealing with these clowns. Get down. Get down. Really? Really, guy? You made me come up there? Oh, now you're gonna go down. Die. Alright, we got all those guys. We'll eat up real quick, heal up. Um, those guys don't seem to drop anything other than the banner. I was kind of hoping they would drop something cool. That's the first time I've actually seen those guys. First time I've actually made a 1.14 world. Um, okay, but let's lock this. We'll see what we got in here. Looks like we got 23, 4, 5, 6. So just under 30. We'll lock the hopper. And then we just gotta wait for one more to come down and get cooked. Like I said, all you need is the one to get dropped into the furnace, and then you get the experience for all of them. So this probably isn't gonna be that much experience. Like I said, to get 30 levels, you need to fill this chest up here. Um, and I can't open it because of the block on top of it, but. You guys get the idea. It still works. Um, but just to prove that it works, um, I'll, I'll pull the experience out of it. We should still have a ton. Yeah, we still got max in both hoppers. Oh, there's actually cactus in the hopper cart. Okay. So we'll pull, we'll throw. Um, it'll be the easiest way to do this. Here we'll go. Up, we'll go this way so I don't have to destroy a tower. So you can see it has been going. It's a little slow so far, but like I said, we're gonna add some more uh, more cactus. But just for example, we'll throw the three cactus that were in the hopper cart. Three of them. They'll come down here. They'll burn up. Easy peasy. We'll wait for all three of them, and then it gets sucked out as soon as. Uh, or it won't get sucked out because I have the hopper turned off, which is exactly what you want. So you want to turn the hopper off, lock the hopper uh, when you're trying to collect the experience. And then we should get experience for all of these that we've cooked so far, not just uh, just the three that I'm full. So and you can see I got one level, which obviously, like I said, isn't a whole lot. Uh, ideally, um, you're going to want to let it run a little faster we we'll let it run a little longer, and we'll, we're going to make it a little bit faster by adding more cactus to it, because you can see it pretty soon here, our, uh, our hopper cart is going to fill up before we can even, um, you know, empty out these hoppers, because we got two full hoppers full of these still. 
and these guys keep growing and I've only got 12 we got 12 across here and these aren't growing at night either these are growing at night because of the torches that I've got up there so um, we'll work on that we'll get more cactus put up there um, and then this is gonna be about it for today's episode oh, I also made this little wood forest which we're gonna kind of expand um, you do this just by just planting saplings row after row right next to each other and eventually they'll all grow in I didn't bone meal them or anything they just kind of grew in like that so I gotta chop all that down as well and then we'll replant everything just because I'm out of wood as well but next project that is all set up uh, we'll hit the button here and we'll there we go and then it'll suck the water back up our crops are still irrigated like I said, the only downside with this kind of stuff is that you got to replant it. And it's an 8x8 pad, so you should only actually need one stack of each. One stack of potatoes, one stack of seeds to replant the whole thing. We'll get those replanted. Just make sure you don't jump on the crops. Of course, you know. That's, that, that's basic stuff. The annoying part of potatoes is that you can eat them. So we'll get all these planted down. down to the zero. Plant, 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 plant them all up. I actually think if I just put one more, uh, put another one right there and the same on the other side, it should actually work. That should cover all the screens. Alright, so there's that. That's replanted. Uh, we need to get the sugar cane up and running. I'll probably work on that in the next episode. I work for the next three days, so I probably won't be releasing an episode. This episode should go up today. What is this? What does that mean? Has that been there since I killed those guys? Or is there another raid coming or something? Okay. I don't know what that means. I'm going to hide in the house for now. Did I get another banner? I did get another banner, so we'll hang another banner on the other side here. There we go. Alright guys, made an anvil. That's going to be it for today's episode. Uh, if you like what I'm doing, like what I'm messing around with, definitely hit the, uh, the like and subscribe button. That'll uh, alert you. Hit the bell if you want to be alerted when I get put up new episodes. But other than that, guys, I am out of here. I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching.